Hi all, in this video, I'll be explaining about the custom URL and how it works in VW. Let's say you wish to run tests across multiple pages that follow a common pattern. For example, if I want to run my test across all the YVW pages, I can see that they have a common string associated with it. So I can easily target all these pages with the help of wildcards or any URL pattern options that are present. On the other hand, if I want to run tests across pages that do not follow any pattern and also they do not have any rejects associated with it. In this case, we can use a custom URL to specify the pages that I would want to test. Custom URL is basically an imaginary URL that will allow you to include multiple pages of your site that do not follow a consistent pattern. Custom URL does not need to exist in real life. For example, if I want to run tests across all my capability pages, I can see that they don't really have a pattern associated with them. In this case, I can create a custom URL for the same. I'll add a new string within my current URL called slash products. So once you have customized your URL, you can add the custom URL to a wisopt URL variable. This variable should be added on all the pages that you wish to include within your test. Make sure you add this variable outside the VW code function. Once you have the WSOP URL variable added to all the pages, you can copy your custom URL and paste that inside the VW test URL. You need to specify the default URL of the page within the preview URL. Once this is done, I can click on next, open up the editor and start designing the variations accordingly. Custom URL is a proxy for the actual URL. Now this way, I'll be able to run the test and track visitors across all my capability pages, even though they don't really have a common pattern linked to them. Thank you for watching and I hope this was useful.